Hi. Before we get into the four steps of how to apologize, it is important to understand why knowing how to apologize is a significant factor on the path of you becoming your best you. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one every Wednesday. If you like this video, please be sure to push that like button, share it with a friend, and have them join us on Howell Consultations, the how-to to being true to you. By the way, have you downloaded your free Positive Affirmation screensaver? Click the link below for your free download and let us help you have better days every day. So, why is knowing how to apologize important? Sometimes, the biggest obstacles we face are obstacles we create for ourselves. A lot of issues could easily be avoided if we understood the impact our words and our actions had on others, and especially on the people that we love. Often, our reality has us so hardened into our way of being that we become unconscious to the actions which may negatively affect those very people. This is why knowing how to apologize is very important. Knowing how to apologize is not to point guilt, fault, or shame in any direction, but rather an acknowledgement that no matter how great of a person you believe yourself to be, you too can be a little bit more understanding on the process of you becoming your best you. So, without further ado, here are the steps on how to apologize. Step 1. Honesty. Honesty is a two-way street. And in order to be honest with others, you must first be truthful with you. And in order to receive an honest reality, you must give or live an honest life, which unfortunately is not always as simple as it sounds. Nonetheless, it is important to understand that the universe responds to who you really are, not who you say you are, nor who you pretend to be. Therefore, if you are to present an apology, only express this truth if it is indeed a truth. If you are not sorry, it is important to not conform just because. Express sorrow if you feel sorrow. Say, I'm sorry. Because what is genuine will be felt. Always remember to be honest in your expression and never just say sorry to say sorry. Step 2. Acceptance Understand the issue in order to accept and move on from its outcome. If it is guilt you feel, it is important to own that guilt, as well as the responsibility for the situation. If it helps, and most times it does, write down the specific things that you are wrong about in order to become aware of how you may have affected a situation. Name your wrongs specifically. Acknowledge the impact that you may have caused because of your wrongs. Expressly name the impact for the other person to know that you acknowledge their pain, their hurt, or their misunderstanding. During this acceptance, it is important to not make it sound conditional. No ifs, such as, sorry if I hurt you. This is wrong because you did hurt the person. If it is true, allow it to be true all the way through. Void of ego, void of pride, and void of regret. Therefore, full of opportunity for progress. On the same track, do not blame shift or defend yourself with excuses for your actions. This is the opposite of acceptance. Step 3. Understand Apology It is important to understand that an apology is as much for you as it is for the other person. For the other person, it may be refreshing and may encourage a higher sense of respect, but issuing an apology also delivers you from a wedge and allows positive energy to flow into your life. Once you are genuine in your expression and your efforts to present an apology, you are not in control of the reaction of the person being apologized to. When you are apologizing, you are opening the bridge of communication between yourself and the person or situation you have transgressed against. However, 
It is that person's choice whether or not to cross it and how much time they will take to do so. Make amends and offer yourself to the situation. Ask yourself, or even them, what can I do? Always keep in mind that what you feed will grow and what you starve will die. Step 4. Patience As previously stated, it is important to have no expectations in regards to the outcome of an apology. You are never responsible for how a person should react to a sincere effort to apologize, despite what you may want or desire to be an outcome. Therefore, it is important to remember that the bridge of communication has already been created. How much time and effort it will take to restore a relationship or a situation is now dependent on both of your desires to move on from what was and to maintain what should be. As they say, patience is a virtue and, in the words of Confucius, it does not matter how slowly you go, so long as you go and you do not stop. So that's it people, those are the four steps on how to apologize and start moving forward today. Having problems apologizing is common, especially when we feel we have done nothing wrong or that the wrong that we have done is very, very, very small in comparison to the wrong that the other person has done to us. Post a comment below and let people know how sincerely apologizing for a situation has helped you move forward in your life. Apologizing is not always easy, however, when aiming for the maintenance of an important relationship or situation, it is always necessary. Apologizing may be the very thing that frees you. Like and share this video, and remember to subscribe to this channel. And I will see you here next time on Howl Consultation, the how-to to being true to you.